Welcome back to my channel and today I thought that I'd do a quick and easy simple hairstyles whether or not you're staying in or you're heading out. I know a few of you guys have requested an easy how to style headbands or hair ties or whatever it may be so I'm going to try my best to do a few effortless hairstyles for you guys. So I have got my hair, oh this headband I had picked up from Kmart, uh, really cheap, I think it was only a few dollars and it was for the occasion for Christmas. So I'll quickly show you guys. Oh, little reindeer ears with pearls and then they had other ones that had diamantes or little jingle bells. So this is something that I've just thrown into the collection but it's not something that I'll be styling today. So this is just a video for how to effortlessly style your hair when you don't want to put too much time and effort into it or you don't have the luxury of time to be able to brush, straighten, curl, you name it, you know. So the style that I'm going to show you guys is, these are some clips. I think the brand is Kogut. It comes in a set of three pieces. So the third one is in my bathroom, but I only generally need uh, two. So today I went for a walk in the park with uh, my family and we took Hero as well and I didn't want to tie up my hair because I knew I'd have this big massive hat on. So what I did was I literally just took this to the side, pinned it through and these are like industrial strength clips. They are, these are the best that I've ever ever um, picked up. So I got these earlier on in the year when I went to Japan when we were fortunate enough to still travel and go to Japan and it was seriously a game and life changer i think for me i've never had any even like the strongest bobby pins i've still never been able to hold my hair so these ones are really good they don't move unless i'm running a marathon not that i do anyways but what i love about it is that it's super super easy you can do like a half updo within like less than 10 seconds so this is it and that is done so a few of you guys might want to style it a little bit differently, but this is out of my way. I can do my work. It's still kind of like uh, styled and a little bit more polished, but you can do whatever you want. You can even do like little twists in your hair if you want and kind of do that and just go for it. Like happy to kind of show you guys this at the moment. So my first tip is to find bobby pins that suit the thickness of your hair and the and the texture of your hair. So if you've got super silky hair, then you'd want to give it a little bit of grip or either spray a little bit of hairspray on it. So that could work. But I am in love with these uh, Japanese clips. They're just, it just holds. Like it's seriously been a life changer for me. Well, I found out that they're on YesStyle for like, it was on sale for around 15 bucks or just under 16 and these are actually really worth it. Again, it comes into in a pack of three and they actually hold your hair. So that's one of the first tips I was going to say, finding hair pins or hair clips that actually hold your hair throughout the day. And that seriously mastered me today. And then the second tip that I wanted to give you guys is, again, you can put dry shampoo in your hair to give it a little bit more volume and take out the oils. Today my hair is just as oily as my face. The next thing that I'm going to talk about is you can style it however you like really. Some people prefer to have their, all their hair up and then to put on your headband like this. So that's one look that you can do. The other one that is the one that I prefer, I generally like to have my hair or, it's no longer a fringe because it's so long now, uh, but I like to just style it just like this and it's just super easy and I'm out the door. So I find if I style my hair like this, I can pop, go uh, into a work hall and it's just almost like I don't know, it just, there's something about headbands, comfortable headbands that just lift your look and just make you feel a little bit more polished. So once you put on a headband, it's almost like it just changes and your mood lifts, everything just shifts all in the right positive direction. One of these ones is great. Again, I picked this one up in Japan and, uh, you know, it's just one of those simple um, knotted uh, hair bands that some of you guys if you want to be creative, you can make this yourself, but I just, you know, picked this up because it was quite cheap and cheerful. And you'll notice there's quite a lot of repetition in my band collection, so I'll show you guys. Uh, I've got pretty much the same wrap style um, headband in all these different colours. And this is just a simple one that I've had for many, many years, and again... I just style them the same, like uh, there's just no trick to it. It's literally that simple. I literally just 
you know, whack it on and boom, I'm out the door. So this is great for if you're going to school and you need something a little bit more minim minimalistic. So that's what I love. The next one is one of these elasticy headbands. I'll bring it a little bit closer to you. And this is a beautiful one that I either picked up from Witchery ages ago, like many, many, many moons ago. And what I love about this is that, again, it's another simple one. You can either dress it up by... Um, you can either dress it up or dress it down, however you like, but this is literally it. And it's just super simple. It adds like a pop of bling. You can either just do, if you want this, you can do a little up style um, and tie, put your hair up in a little bun to make it a little bit more formal. And that's also quite nice. And the next thing you could do is you can use little uh, pearl clips if you'd like. So either... If you literally have no time and you want to clip your hair up, clear hair out of the way, you can just kind of pop one of these ones on in your fringe area. Or sometimes if you want to style it, you can style it this way as well. And you can add two or three of them here. So I'm just going to keep it super, super simple. Probably. So here are a few more, as you can probably see. These clips I picked up on sale in Seed. And I really... They've come in so handy. You can put on two, or you can pop on a third one if you'd like. So for me, that is way too much, but if you like it, you can easily just do a few styles like that um, and you're good to go as well. And something that I love using, you can just go like this and clip it in and then use this to clip it in as well and then that also holds and if you want you can even braid your hair as well so you can do like a little look like that for me what I love using these clips for is popping it into a bun so I'll just quickly show you it's a super super simple bun like this and you just clip it in like so one and two I see so that's kind of it is it good um, out for dinner and you're, you've, you've got something on that's quite simple another pearl headband here is really really good so you literally just pop that on and again it just lifts your whole look right? if you're wearing something super simple whether it be a black dress or whatever you can s definitely style this headband and either kind of do an updo or you can just kind of wear this like so just, this is something that I'd wear if I'm wearing, again, darker colours and it's great for darker colours or even a white t-shirt. And again, I'd style it exactly the same. There's no trick to it. I generally like to style it with my fringe already out. Uh, if I'm really, really focusing on work, then I'd literally just shift it all back and just go like this. But generally, I prefer, I think having my fringe down, uh, personally speaking. So it's just personal preference, however you would like it. And again, you can have it up or down, whatever you prefer. This is the same thing. I just really love like the simple black and white, the polka dots. So if you're not a polka dot person, then feel free to just go the plain color or the florals, which was the one before. And I picked up these from one of the shops in Town Hall. Uh, Town Hall. It's called Butter, Butter Rand or something, and it's just one of the cuter shops. So these three I picked up from that town hall shop. Uh, this one was also one of the shops closest. I've forgotten the name of it, but you can get this in anywhere really, in La Visa. Next thing, the next thing as well is if you're going out somewhere quite fancy, you're going to a wedding, love is to wear um, this beautiful sort of like emeraldy diamante headband, and it's like you feel like Kate Middleton or Blair Waldorf from Gossip Girl in it honestly it's just the prettiest thing ever if that's what you can style it with your hair curled if that's what you prefer today I'm just again being lazy I'm sorry guys and just going with bed hair so so yep this is a beautiful one this one I got from Forever New recently maybe it was last year and I love wearing it uh, with an emerald uh, emerald green dress as well 
uh, or even like a black dress. So something super, super simple and it's just really flattering on everyone to really gorgeous. And this brings me to the next style, which is we've got our hair tie scrunchies. So again, I featured this before. This is from Sula. So these are super, super cute. This is one of the slip uh, silk scrunchies. I will have to say though, because they originally were around like this size, but then the more I used it, it kind of turned into a headband. This is great because it won't kind of tear at your hair and also it doesn't leave those kinks that you can get from other hair ties. So this is something that I just like to wear if I'm about to wash my face, but if I wanna be wearing a scrunchy little Zella from the beginning to the end of the day, then I'll use uh, one of the little Zella ones. This, these are so comfortable and you can kind of style it however you want really. It's super simple, like you've seen it in my previous videos before, but it's just like really effortless and it kind of looks very Chanel-esque, really nice and classic, elegant. So that's one way of doing it in a low ponytail. So that's look number one. And then look number two is this one. And this is obviously, you can wear it. And I'll just quickly show you. Old and it's pretty much it, you know. Again, this is, you know, really, really simple. Anyone can kind of do it. If you're a busy mum, this is perfect then. And another cheap way that I love to do is, obviously, I, again, am wearing something super simple. I like to dress it up with one of these and put my, and put my hair up. And maybe styling it like grabbing. So everyone's got their little quirks and perks of how they like to do their hair. I like to have a little bit of these fluffy bits out and this I will say they won't it won't hold all day so I'd probably use like one of these hair ties won't hold to kind of set the hair in place and even these little hair ties these little hair ties won't hold for me so I'd like to do that to kind of and then you can use this and it just li really lifts your outfit especially if you're wearing something quite plain like I am today um, and it's just really nice to kind of have that little scarf effect without actually wearing the scarf so there's this but sometimes it can it can just overhang too much for the rather than using something like this which you can I just prefer this is all done for me and it's all quite easy simple seamless there's also for the little Zella ones you can also do that as well. So you do the same here. Again, grab this. And then this just sort of You can't see it on my hair as much because I've got obviously dark hair. So you can sort of imagine what it kind of looks like as a scrunchie and also, you know, or just left hanging out like that. Great for more subtle. This is also great for work as well. The look that you're going for. So, and this next look is something that is super easy. You can use it with normal bobby pins. So this next section, I actually had to refilm. So apologies in advance for all the outfit changes. But I'm literally taking a hair elastic and tying my hair into a simple ponytail, then braiding it by dividing my hair into three sections and then plaiting it all the way towards the end. Then make sure you have another hair elastic handy to tie it towards the end. Don't worry about it looking too neat and tidy because we're going to tuck all that hair away towards the next section. So what you want to do now is grab your plait that you've just freshly braided and pop that into a tight bun. So you can take a look and see how you want to place your hair to form the bun. But this is just something a little bit different. Make sure you secure all the sides with bobby pins and make sure that they're also durable pins as well. So you can see what I'm doing is playing around with the hair to make sure that it's all tucked away. There's no little flyaways. Style it with some hair down like this, and 
You can even put in one of these little clips if you'd like for something different and just to go just to wear. You can pop that in if you'd want for something a little bit different. And again, this is a hairstyle that I like to do when I want something comfortable, something out of my face but still styled a little bit nicely and different. So Another one you can use is one of these pearl hair clips and they are, these are so popular. Uh, I got these ones quite cheap from Kmart and again, this picks up the hair a lot more than the seed ones because it holds a lot more and as you can probably see, that's nice and simple, nice and easy. Uh, you can style it however you like or you can even just use it and clip it to the side here which is something that I love doing and then just plaiting my hair and I'll quickly show you guys something that again everyone can do and this is quite a simple look that I personally love doing because it again keeps my hair out of the way and it's just really nice and comfortable and it still looks quite nice simple and effortless. It seems like you've made an effort when you really haven't put too much effort into it, which is what I love, something that's low maintenance. If you go and then all you just do is grab this and just tie it here and you can loosen it up a little bit if you'd like. So loosen it up, loosen it up and it depends if you guys like showing your ears or not and you can even put in a little bit more um, elsewhere as well. So this is quite like a nice, easy uh, hairstyle that I love doing all the time. This one, maybe we have this one on whichever side, and it's just out of your way, easy, easy, done. And another thing that I want to show you guys is a little tip. When you're tying up your hair, what you do is grab two bobby pins and clip it like this put in two bobby pins like this. If you wanted to tie your hair rather than having to tie it around, all you do is you do this, stick one of the bobby pins in your hair, grab this, grab the other end, turn it around, turn it around again, and then you get it like this, you've got one more left and then you stick it into your hair so it's like that so then it's not tugging away at your hair so I'll show you guys again from the back what you do is you have put your hair like this like so grab that and stick it into your hair turn it around turn it around and then just Pop it underneath. Yeah. Pop it underneath. And then it's all hidden. I hope you guys have enjoyed the video. I'm probably inspired you guys to try a few different hairstyles. I would what I would suggest to you guys is finding the right pattern, the right headband, hairpiece, or the right hair accessory for you guys so everyone's different but I think what I've kind of introduced here is something that will work on many different helps for so hopefully it helps and you guys have got something out of it but again if there's anything that you want me to elaborate on if there's any other videos that you guys want to be seeing please comment down below thank you guys and I'll speak to you guys soon bye